Hey there, my name is Kat Cocolette and I'm an illustrator and designer. And I'm also the founder of Cat Coke, that's C-A-T-C-O-Q, which is my own personal creative brand. Definitely coffee. I cannot start my morning without a cappuccino and two shots of espresso, which probably makes me a little bit high maintenance. I identify as a night owl. I feel most creative in the evenings, so that's when I get all my paint sets out and really get to work. Well, I grew up in Kansas, so I didn't have much experience with either. But now, as an adult, I'm living in Chiang Mai, Thailand for about half of the year. And Chiang Mai is right in the thick of the mountains of northern Thailand. And it's definitely my happy place. It's where I feel most creatively inspired. The view from my apartment is mountains at sunset, so what more could you want? You know, I think I have always felt pretty creative. Um, I had a very supportive upbringing. My parents encouraged me to pursue what I loved, which was art. So I was always, you know, painting or drawing or coloring things in. Um, luckily, not on the walls. But yeah, it's something that I've always pursued. Oh, three words, that's tough. Um, ultimately, I think it would be vibrant, minimal, and wanderlust. I think my style definitely has evolved over the years, although my medium of choice has always been watercolor. When I was younger, I thought I was going to be a fashion illustrator, so I did a lot of very vibrant illustrations of ball gowns and bikinis. I've kind of grown out of that a little bit, and now I'm more into painting the things I see around me in nature. I think the central theme in all of my work is that I look at these complicated motifs and I look for opportunities to simplify them into more of a minimal aesthetic. So for example, I'll look at an entire philodendron plant and instead of trying to painstakingly paint every little detail, I'll just look for ways to condense and minimalize it so it feels a little bit more modern. I think travel is the number one factor that influences my portfolio today. Um, I paint the things that I see around me while I'm traveling the world. I don't have a normal home or any sort of permanent residence. Um, I live as a digital nomad, which means that I hop from country to country every few weeks or few months, um, just kind of living in the moment and getting inspired by the things I see around me. I travel with all of my art supplies and my laptop with me, so I'm able to um, really bring my career onto the road. The inspiration for these five designs really came from all over the world. Um, a lot of the tropical plants and palms that I've painted are inspired by literally living in the tropics. I do a lot of hiking and I always travel with my camera with me, so I take pictures of the foliage I see as I'm going and then when I'm back in my apartment, I paint it. My herringbone pattern was inspired by kind of a Scandinavian motif. I spent my 30th birthday up in the Arctic Circle in far northern Norway. Because my birthday is in the middle of the summer, the summer sun never sets. So I, you know, rolled into my 30s drinking a beer and looking up and seeing the sun shining bright above me. It was a pretty cool experience. And the Jaguars came from visiting an animal rehabilitation center in Belize. They have done truly great things. I am really excited to see my artwork in this collection. There is something really special and unique about finding my artwork out in the wild, you know, whether it's on someone's phone case or t-shirt or on peel and stick wallpaper in someone's home. You know, I hope this artwork connects with people the same way that some of my other products and collections have. Hopefully it's an aesthetic that some people just gravitate towards because they feel like it's a reflection of their own personal style. What's next? Well, in terms of my immediate living situation, I'll be here in Eastern Europe for the next few weeks. I'm wrapping up a few projects, and then I'll be returning either to Italy or Poland to wrap up the rest of the summer. I'll go back home to visit my parents, and then I'm going to my winter base, which is up in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And then in terms of career, um, a lot of exciting things. I do a new painting or digital illustration about once a night, so my portfolio has been pretty rapidly accelerating, so it's been really great to see that roll out. I've also just finished wrapping up my new online course, which I've been filming here in Tbilisi, Georgia. It's a class that's aimed at creative entrepreneurs that want to learn how to create patterns 
and surface designs. It'll be my ninth class that I've taught on Skillshare so far. So yeah, exciting things um, in the pipeline for the future. I'm really excited to see how this collection rolls out. If you want to follow me on social media and see where in the world I am or um, the types of artwork that I'm creating day to day, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that at Cat Coke. That's C-A-T-C-O-Q. Thank you.